Are you worried about your sensitive files getting into the wrong hands? Whether it's personal photos, financial documents, or confidential work information, protecting your USB drive is a must. In this video, I'll share two simple and effective ways to password protect your USB drive. WinRAR is a popular file archiving tool commonly used on Windows for compressing large amount of data. But did you know it can also help you secure your files? This method is especially useful if you want to encrypt specific files or folders instead of the entire USB drive. Head over to the official WinRAR website and download it on your Windows computer. Connect to USB drive and open it. Right click on the folder you want to encrypt. Then click on add to archive. In the pop-up window, name your new archives and select RAR as the archive format. Click on set password. Enter your desired password, then re-enter it in the verification box. Check the box for encrypt file names and hit OK. Once you complete these steps, your new RAR file will be created and it will require a password to access. This is a simple and effective way to protect your sensitive data on a USB drive. 7-Zip is also a great option to encrypt your USB files. First, download and install 7-Zip on your computer from the official website. Open the application. Right-click on the file or folder you want to protect on your USB drive. Click on 7-Zip, then click on Add to Archive. In the Add to Archive window, select your preferred archive format and enter a password for encryption. Click on OK to begin archiving and encrypting your files. Once the process is complete, your files will be securely stored in a password-protected archive, ensuring that only you can access them. And if you ever find yourself in a situation where you have accidentally deleted, lost or formatted files from your USB drive, don't worry. With Advanced File Recovery Tool, you can recover your lost data easily. This tool can scan your USB drive for deleted files and help you restore them. You can check the description for the link in case you want to try. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.